they set him off like he was mad at the world. And I was his world that he was going to punch out, throw to the ground. Yeah, and that's when things really got scary for our former Fox 10 News chief meteorologist, Johnny Thompson. Thompson says the man assaulted him at a gas station in Westmobile this week. And John Ed didn't suffer any serious injuries, but he hopes police can find out who did this. Our Brendan Kirby is live in the studio. Brendan, this was a random attack though, right? Yeah, it seems so, Byron and Lenise. He says that he had no warning and doesn't think that the guy recognized him. It just seems he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Just thought I'd stop by and buy a few gallons of gas. Tuesday started off great for John Ed Thompson. He turned 81, and he says he and his wife celebrated over lunch. <laughs> then they stopped to get gas at the Murphy USA station on University Boulevard near Cottage Hill Road. That's when things went south. He says a man stopped him and asked him for money. I told him that we didn't carry money. We used cards to buy our gas with. Anyway, it kind of upset him, evidently, because he started calling us liars. Then he started using cuss words, which I won't use right here. But he, uh, he was cussing us out. And I started to get in the right side of the car. And he grabbed me by his right hand and started punching me in the face. Then he says things got scarier. But I got thrown down on the concrete. And uh, before it was over with, he got in his car and he acted like he was going to run me over. Thompson says after bystanders said to call 911, the man sped off down University Boulevard toward Greelot Road in a dark green Ford. He says he went to the doctor's office the next day. He's got some bruises on his knees and arms with a particularly big splotch that he says bled profusely. He says he's got some sprains but no broken bones. A Mobile police spokeswoman says Thompson reported the crime the next day and told the officer he initially didn't think it was worth reporting. She urged victims to report crimes immediately. Thompson says he didn't get a great look at his attacker, but describes him as a white man in his mid to late 20s with light brown hair. He says he hopes the gas station has surveillance video. Because if they have the video, we can see exactly what happened. Thompson retired from Fox 10 News in 2009. He says it's been quite some time since he's been in any kind of physical altercation. He says when you're 81, you're not looking to get into any fights. Reporting live from the studio, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.